what's up family professor t is back with some more reacting to undiscovered music and today this really should have been part of friends and family week but it didn't work out because it wasn't a youtube video this is somebody that i have had the pleasure to work with an immensely talented uh, musician and artist and all the above john rizzo and if you want to hear an example of uh, the two of us collaborating, the two of us put together the song Ready to Go. It's on my other channel. That song, currently, I'm redoing the vocals and it's going to be remixed and remastered for a later date. But I've left the original music video with the original cut up on the other channel. And John Rizzo, he was the one playing the keys on that. And I wanted to do one of his own original tracks. So we're going to check out the track Recluse. This is on his uh, band camp. I will put a link so that you guys can go over there, support him, download it. I want to see like 2,000 downloads on his page tomorrow and make him some money. So without any further ado or long-winded for me, let's check out this track Recluse on his band camp. And John Rizzo, I love you. You're amazing. And I wish I had an ounce of the talent you do. This song is long, by the way, so I guess I could have been long with it. This video is going to be like 25 minutes long. <laughs> he plays piano, by the way, if I forgot to mention that, what like his instrument is. That's his primary instrument is piano, but he does a bunch of other stuff, too. And he, he's good. It's part of the reason this music is long though. He'd be having like the elaborate intros and outros and stuff. He slowly took away all my freedom. Why does this remind me of the Edge theme song for WWE with that part right there? <laughs> you think you know me. John 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 John. Real talk, I bet you uh, John Rizzo, I doubt he's the type of person that grew up watching WWE, but I bet you he might be an Alter Bridge fan. There's a good chance of that. Double vocals right there. You can pretty much expect it. This is gonna be a clinic on like every single thing that I usually talk about. So <laughs> he's good. I should have interviewed him for my tutorial series coming. I forgot about that. I gotta work on that tutorial video. I forgot to finish editing that supposed to be done by Friday but we'll have to see about that <laughs> I'm keeping it real I did the videos takes a long time why do you think that this channel barely gets any uploads man I don't have time for editing if I had somebody to edit for me I would upload like 10 videos a day I like to talk I just will sit and talk to myself like I legit will like just like sit right over there and have a conversation with the ball like I, I i talk to myself so talking in front of the mic is at least less weird that was amazing john rizzo is on another level with his piano playing too Okay. I'm just trying to take all of this in. That's why I'm kind of quiet right now. I'm just, I'm just taking all of this in. 
It's a lot going on. Now it's kind of switched to a little more jazzy feel, in a way. I know that he likes progressive rock too. Crazy atmospherics going on in this song too. I like that though. This song would be great to hear like in like a crazy like surround sound or Dolby Atmos gimmick. I would have enjoyed that too. Like this would be on this song at this point. This is a movie at this point. Once again, I'm just taking in all of this right now. That's some nice drums coming in. Everything is definitely really crispy with this mix. Like, you can hear everything. Lots of effects, man. Get a little synth coming in, like a little synth lead. This song must have took you a while to do. Like this has like a lot of different sounds going on in it. That's probably the reason why you haven't had anything released in four years though too. <laughs> it takes you this much like effort bro. It just ends just like that. Okay. Well, it ends just like that. All right. Oh, boy. I feel like I need a cigarette after that or something. I mean, <laughs> I don't, I don't, that was a lot to take in. But that's why I wanted to make sure I did the, the homie John Rizzo. He, me and him have done a lot of projects together. Interesting character. I'm an interesting character, but I like John Rizzo. I respect him. Immensely talented and lost for words. It's not often that I'm speechless during these, as you guys can tell. It's not often. Reactions. Uh, shoot. I mean, just the composition, the song structure, all of that. 
he was putting on a clinic on this one, basically. You know what I mean? Like, this, it hits every point that I would be hitting for what it is I would recommend for people to do. And, like, the, the lyricism is there. I just don't really know what else to say. I mean, like, it's just, there's just a lot that's going on here, and all of it's good. Critiques, if I can find any to give. Here's the thing. Critiques, as I always say, is never a um, comment on just the song. This is always um, suggestions that I would give beyond just the person that made this song to all of you watching at home and what we can learn from listening to this. If I had any critiques, uh, the only cr the first critique that I would give, and this is the only one that I have that I even would say is an actual real critique because this one is actually the only one that's valid. I wish... The vocals were louder. That might have artistically be have been what you were going for, but I wish that the vocals were louder, because um, with a very lyrical song like this, I would have liked to be able to have it more in my face. Pause. So that's what I would say about the only real actual critique I have there, and then the mastering of it too. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I wasn't paying a lot of attention to to the level, so I don't know if this is as loud as the other songs I've listened to that are mastered. Um, but it just does, it didn't sound as loud. I know in the credits you mastered it yourself, um, so I would say for your mastering, it could have been just a little bit louder overall, like the full um, output. Send up to Anthony at Extreme Audio. He hooked up my last album, so. The other critiques I'll give, so once again, now these are getting to just teaching critiques here for everybody. Uh, what was it for even, okay, well this was the critique that I was going to give. Um, now obviously this was the artistic effect that you were going for with the ending just being kind of abrupt like that. But what I was going to say to everyone else here is a critique that I would give that's a teaching opportunity. I felt like with that ending, even though artistically that's what we wanted, I honestly wish that with how long that the song was, how big and grand that the intro was, how huge that the different kind of movements of the song were, I wish that there was a little bit bigger of a deal for the intro to just ending it abruptly like that. So that's what it is, as I would say. I just felt like, like I said, that was what you were going for, obviously. But I just, for what I would say, I wish that it was it was um, a big deal made about it. Because like, there was just so much color and so much drama and excitement throughout the song. I wish that the ending got a little bit of it rather than ending it abruptly. But that's, it, once again, a preference thing and a creative thing more than it is an actual critique to this particular song. So, that's all I got to say on this one. Just a really well done track. Very artistic. Very detailed. And it sounds great. So, without any further ado, it's my favorite part of the video. Because I get to say it. It's time to see where it ranks on the Professor T Billboard chart. Alright, bring it over. So, John Rizzo. The Recluse. Go above a lot of these because I think this one it certainly is pretty good. I think it's better than 33 Dogs. I think that I slotted above Gen X. Um, that's the thing. I think it kind of it, it should be like around Gen X Dragon Chase to me because both of them. Um, when I think of the Professor T wanting to listen to this again and, and slam it really loud in my car. Um, honestly, for where I would put it, I would do a tie at number 19 because I do like it. But to me, I just feel like some of the songs above it, I would put just a little bit higher. Just because, once again, this chart is not a reflection on the quality of the song. This is a reflection on what does Professor T think People would like and listen to it, and it's going to be like a, a big hit. I would do a tie, but I don't do ties. So I'm going to go above Gen X, 
And I'm also going to bump BT for real down. And I'm going to put you right underneath. Well, when I think about it that way, I'll tell you what. I'll move you up a little bit after a little bit of deliberation. I'm going to slot you between Corey James, Dreamin', and the Brass Machine, I Think I Love You. Here's the reason why I'm sliding it up higher than I initially thought that I would. So when I think about the songs that are below it here, The Brass Machine, I Think I Love You, that was just a very simple acoustic performance. It wasn't a polished, finished song. But I think that Recluse it was a little more artful. It had a little bit more excitement to it than that. I kind of slide it below Corey James, Ty P, and Mani. Just because I think for those, those ones there, they were a little bit more... Um, I think what's the word a little bit more accessible is the word that I would say so like I said this is not an indictment on the quality it's just I feel like for I would place on uh, the Professor T billboards uh, number 16 sounds about on on point for me because I think like it's it's a good song it definitely is above some of the ones that were um you know a little bit shorter songs some of them that were a little slower some of them that were a little bit more um different but I think that it definitely it doesn't place as high as some of the ones that were a little bit more accessible. So that's where it places on the Billboard chart. So 16, that's pretty good. And as I always say, those will move around as the year goes on and more songs get added. And I change my mind on things. So to end this video, and boy, I apologize for this being a long one. <laughs> but to John Rizzo, to all of you watching at home, love what you do. I enjoyed listening to this, and I hope all of you did, too. And I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you, and I will see you on the next review.